If you're looking for a travel destination that has beautiful beaches, ancient sites, and incredible food, you can't do much better than Belize. This place has it all. And today, we're going to break down the top 10 things to do in Belize. Hold on tight because you're in for a wild ride. Let's hit it! Number 10. This country has several awesome places to interact with wild animals, but the Belize Zoo and Tropical Education Center is one of the best. The Belize Zoo gets almost 90,000 visitors every year. Here you'll find monkeys, jaguars, tapirs, a wide variety of birds, and a whole bunch more, all native to Belize. The zoo specializes by only taking in orphaned, rescued, or rehabilitated animals from the area. You'll also notice that the enclosures were built using only pathing and fences, leaving the natural environment completely intact. There are night tours and feeding encounters that, while they may cost a bit more, are totally worth it. Entry to the zoo is $15 for adults and $5 for kids. Number 9. Just outside of the capital city lies Altunha, an ancient Mayan site dating all the way back to around 200 AD. There are 13 main structures that make up the complex, spread out across two huge plazas, and getting to the top of them can be a bit of a climb. But what an incredible view! Altunha was dug out in the 60s and the 70s and is one of the easiest to reach archaeological sites in Belize. Guides are available on site and offer extensive knowledge into the history of this area, including the discovery of one of Belize's national treasures, the jade head of a Mayan sun god. Snacks and souvenirs are also on sale, and with the cost to get in being only five bucks, Altunha is an absolute must for anyone's to-do list. Number eight. Number eight takes us to Ahau Chocolate. Ahau Chocolate is an authentic Mayan chocolatier that uses traditional ingredients and techniques to create real Maya chocolate. They offer a full tour of the farm and facilities, as well as a more hands-on experience where you yourself get to make traditional Mayan hot chocolate and have a turn at the special grinding stone they use to get a flavor and texture that is simply unbelievable. The full combo tour will run you around $30 and is a pretty sweet way to spend the afternoon. Number seven. Our next stop is the Green Iguana Conservation Project at the San Ignacio Resort Hotel. Green iguanas are the largest lizards in Belize, growing up to around seven feet. They come in vivid greens if it's a female, or beautiful golden colors if it's a male. But the iguanas are also endangered here, so conservation efforts have been made at the hotel to raise these ladies and study them, and hopefully release them back into the wild once they're fully grown so they can make families of their own. Visitors have an opportunity to take about an hour and get hands-on, or even head-on, with these wonderful creatures. Tours are offered every day through the San Ignacio Resort Hotel for only $11.25 per person, so check them out. Number six. Coming in at number six is Zunan Tunic, on the west edge of Belize. Abandoned somewhere around the year 900 AD, this dense archaeological site has over 26 temples and palaces, all within one square mile. The most famous structure here is El Castillo, and if you're lucky, you may even get to see the stone woman this site is named after. Legend has it, her ghost is what led villagers to rediscover this site in the 1980s. She sits just at the top of El Castillo, some 130 feet in the air, and has a view that stretches all the way into Guatemala next door. And with two dozen other structures to explore here at Zunan Tunic, and tons of local wildlife in the area, you'll want to give yourself a couple of hours here to get the most out of your visit. Guides are once again available on site, and entrance is only $5. Number 5. If you love big, beautiful birds, look no further than the Belize Raptor Center. Established in 2013, the conservation crew here specializes in rescuing injured or orphaned birds of prey and nursing them back to health, with the goal to be able to release them back into the wild if they're able. And it's even more than a field rehabilitation hospital. The Belize Raptor Center also gives an interactive presentation featuring all of their birds and are available for school groups and family tours. Shows are every Monday through Saturday at 1.30 p.m. sharp, and it's free to get in. But donations to this wonderful program are greatly appreciated. Number four. Up next is Lamanai Archaeological Reserve. Located along the banks of the New River, this site is one of the longest lived-in Maya cities. 
With evidence going back as early as 1500 BC, this site was occupied well into the 1600s AD, nearly 3,000 years. The site itself stretches across 12 square miles and holds almost 120 residential and ceremonial structures, but only a tiny portion of that, about 5%, has been excavated so far for visitors to walk through. Be sure to check out the Jaguar Temple and its front faces, the Mask Temple, which shows Olmec influences, and the High Temple, stretching over 100 feet into the air, giving you an unparalleled view of the new River Lagoon. All this and a whole lot more for the low, low price of $5. Number 3 The Caves Branch area of Belize sits right in the heart of the country. Far away from any cell signals or Wi-Fi, this is a place someone could go to truly get away from it all. Most activities will take you deep into the jungles here and will require that you book a tour to make it out here. We recommend visiting Ian Anderson's Cave Branch Adventure Company and Jungle Lodge. Not only do they have lush bungalows and incredible treehouse villas for you and your family to relax in, but they specialize in providing adventures unique to the area. River rafting, blue hole diving, repelling 300 feet straight down to go cave exploring, if you're looking for real adventure, this is exactly where you want to be. Number 2 Welcome to Caracol, the largest mine site in all of Belize. One of the most important cities in Maya cultures, Caracol covers an area of over 75 square miles. At its prime, this place held more than double present-day Belize city's population with over 35,000 known buildings and more than 150 tombs, altars, and stelae, Caracol gives visitors an unprecedented look into Mayan artifacts, history, and culture. The most famous of which being the Sky Palace, Cana. Sitting at over 136 feet, it is still to this day the tallest man-made structure in all of Belize. Caracol is open year-round with a $10 admission, an unbelievable price for an even more unbelievable experience. B -b -b bonus For a glimpse into a live, ongoing dig site, we recommend stopping over at Lower Dover. Every summer, work is being done to continually unearth and study this place, making camp at the field station and jungle lodge each night. We stayed there for two nights ourselves along the way and had an absolute blast, touring the area and sharing stories over a family-style meal made fresh three times a day. And that stop paired nicely with the equally beautiful Cajal Petch. Built as a very lush, hilltop home for the prestigious family that lived there, this site actually mirrors Lower Dover in both construction and design. But by the height of its popularity, around 250 AD, Cajal Petch had become one of the most important trade cities in the entire country, controlling deals and managing wealth for hundreds of miles around. It has been painstakingly reconstructed to give visitors a glimpse into the Mayan high life for only $5 at the door. We'd recommend staying at the Cajal Petch Village Resort while you're there, with great meals, a huge pool, and an absolutely stellar view overlooking the entire city of San Ignacio. You too can rest in the lap of luxury, just like the Mayans did. Number one. Our final destination takes us to the island of Key Calker, just off the coast of Belize City. This island paradise is one of several in the area, but Key Calker was very special to us. Here you can find all kinds of diving, snorkeling, and adventures around the reef, as well as a fun and active party scene with several bars and restaurants around the island to check out. Visitors can also book a flyover or a scuba trip to Belize's Great Blue Hole from here, sitting at just over a thousand feet wide. There's just so much to see and do here that we'd recommend staying four or five days to just take it all in. We swam down along the reef, we fed fish off the coast, we drank, and we partied, and we had an incredible time down there. And that's just a taste of what you can do. So whether you're looking to live it up or just relax and unwind, Key Calker has everything you could ever want. And there you have it, our list of the top 10 things to do in Belize. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and share the video with all your friends. It really helps us out. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe, and have a great week.